How's everybody doing? It's good, because I'm pissed. Because no, I went to pick up my personalized license plate, and they wouldn't issue it to me. Said it had too many letters in it. I said, yeah, right. Let me ask you something. Are there too many letters in Kill Whitey? I didn't think so. <laughs> it's good to be back on stage. I've been away from performing for a while. You know, I was on vacation. I was in Florida. I was in Michigan. And I was incarcerated. <laughs> now, you shouldn't find that strange because statistically, one out of every four young black males has either been incarcerated or has some type of legal action pending against them. And that's what happened to me. Police came up to my house and they said, yeah, we know you haven't done anything, but statistically, we got to run you in. <laughs> and I'm not good with math, so I just went. <sighs> I live in L.A. now, and we just went through the riots. And my neighborhood was hit pretty hard. It was bad. It was shooting and burning and looting everywhere. And it got worse after the Rodney King verdict. <laughs> I'll tell you, the lingo in the hood is a lot different than the ghetto that I came from. The ghetto, we had expressions like, what's happening? What it is? Uh, some young brother came up to me the other day and said, are you down? I said, yeah, I've been kind of depressed. <laughs> A lot of problems in my neighborhood, man. The other day I walked out of my house and there's a transient out there, a bum. And he said he wanted change. I said, hey, can't you just accept things the way they are? <laughs> I'm trying to expand my horizons, though. I'm getting out doing things cross-culturally. Some white friends, they've been taking me around. They took me uh, bungee cord jumping. <laughs> you ever do that? Hey, it's fun. You got to try it, man. You got to get used to it, especially the part where they put the rope around my neck. And, uh... <laughs> I was in a relationship with a woman, though, not too long ago, and she happened to be white. And, uh... I saw Jungle Fever. I said, so we got to talk. I said, look, you know, I really care about you, but I think I need a woman who can better understand my struggle. I need a woman who can better help fulfill my needs. I need a rich white woman. <laughs> 